welcome to the channel i'm tg so good and i'm back with another nba 2k tool for the pc if you play nba 2k on the pc or you played it in the past then i'm pretty sure you know about all the cool mods that are available to you every year pc gamers like myself dive a little bit deeper into the files and go a little bit further in pushing what can actually be done with nba 2k on the pc Year after year, one of the most popular categories for NBA 2K modding are the cyber faces. Now, I won't go too deep into what a cyber face is, but basically, it's the digital representation of a specific player within the game. All right, finally, we can discuss the main point of this video using the cyber faces. While using the cyber faces are pretty easy if you have a tool like Limnono Trainer or even cheat engine what is the purpose of using them well if you're a roster maker you can make any custom roster you want now i'll just give you some ideas you could make a jba roster high school roster college roster or any retro team that ever existed whether it be in the aba or the nba or even foreign leagues so having the real faces just brings so much more immersion and takes your roster to the next level but it's not only for rosters if you are playing in my player or i'm sorry my career or my gm or even my league and you just want to change the face of let's say your personal player or an incoming rookie then you can also do that with cyber faces and cyber faces aren't limited to only um, customizing the face changing a cyber face can also allow you to display a custom body type for a player. Body types that do not exist in the base game. Okay, so let's get into this. I've already told you all you would need is, you know, maybe Cheat Engine or Lemnono Trainer to change the face. But how do you know which face is which? On your screen, you're gonna see me scrolling through a spreadsheet that tells you all the cyber face IDs and which players they correspond with. For instance, LeBron James, his cyber face is 1013. So when you enter that into a tool, you enter cyber face ID 1013, your player or that player's face will change to the current LeBron James face. But if you're not familiar with how to use this spreadsheet, it might be kind of confusing. And today I have a tool, well, I'm introducing a tool that's gonna be a little bit easier to use than a spreadsheet you don't really have to scroll around and look for the player you want i'm going to show you that tool here finally we have a tool where you can type in the name of a player and the tool itself will show you the cyber face id for that said player i believe the name of this tool is the cyber face lookup tool i will have footage of the tool actually being used in the background here now, this tool does not up actually apply the faces in game. It just gives you the ID or the cyber face ID so that you can go over to either Lemnono Trainer or maybe Cheat Engine or any other tool that assigns cyber faces, enter the ID and then get the player that you actually want to use. Now, I'm going to have an entire playlist for this tool so if you're interested in learning one how to download the tool uh, what the tool is capable of or if you just really want like an in-depth walkthrough of what the tool can do then I'll have the link to the playlist down in the description so you guys check that out make sure you check out the other videos for this tool now this tool is specifically for 2k18 but I'm in talks with the creator and I'll have the creator's information down in the description. Also, uh, we hope that there's a possibility that if I can get a spreadsheet uh, created for NBA 2K19 once it comes out, that he can also apply that spreadsheet to an NBA 2K19 tool just like this. All right, guys, thanks for checking out the video. If you need more information about this tool, again, there's an entire playlist down in the description. Click on that link, check out the videos, whichever ones you want. 
and also check out my other videos if you're into cyber face mods or just really cool mods like guys dunking from the three-point line yeah i have some videos about that stuff also all right guys till next time i'm out